Welcome my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. In today's video, we're going to look a real-world scenario in which you may come across in tech support. In this situation, we cannot access a remote computer so we can make changes to it or fix something on it. So what happens is, we, for example, try to backdoor into it to make some changes. We would simply, you know, for example, type in uh, backslash backslash name of the computer that we're trying to access. And then we would try to hit enter and the error would be, well, you don't have administrator privileges, so you can't do anything with that. Or we are trying to remote desktop into it and it would be the same thing. We would type in the name of the computer, hit enter, and it would say, well, oh, you don't have administrator privileges, you can't access. So what seems to be the problem? Well, here's the thing. As tech support, you probably belong to a group group. Uh, policy on the domain that has administrator privileges that's automatically applied to all the computers that belong to that domain. So in this case, what happened was is the chances are that that group policy hasn't applied to that computer locally. So let's say the name of your group on the domain, let's just open sticky notes real quick so we can have a reference. Let's say the name of your group is IT support. You and everybody else that belongs to that group, you and everybody that belongs to this IT support group on that domain has admin access. So at this point, in order to quickly resolve this issue, instead of going through, you know, reimaging the computer, this and that, or trying to force any of these things, we can just simply add IT support group that you belong to with administrator privileges. We can add it to this computer at local level. And if you appreciate this type of content, instead of me playing an advertisement here, please take a second here and just click the like button or subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And this way I don't have to bug you with ads. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to have a local administrator password or a local administrator login so we can make these changes locally. Obviously, uh, you need local admin uh, privileges. So what we're going to do is going to access our system with using local administrator. Now, this is one of those things that your company will provide for you. Uh, you know, if you have a good company that you work for, chances are that every computer that they have will have a backup login, which will be a local admin, local admin and will have a specific password for it. So you're going to have to find this out. You're going to have to look up the name of the computer that you're trying to troubleshoot. For example, you can see here that the name of this computer is called tech support. So you would access the database that has the passwords for the tech support, um, for, for the local admins on tech support, and then you're going to find that what that password is and what the login name for that is, and then you would log into that computer. In my case, I am logged in as administrator using this login. So in my case, it's YT login and it has administrator privileges and it's for this computer that's called tech support and I am good to go. Now I can make changes to the group policy that uh, has applied to this computer. All right, so let's get to it. Now, in order to do this, we're going to have to open up our local group policy. Now, this is the wrong thing to look at. A lot of people look this up and they're like, oh, well, how do I do this? Where is this at? This is the wrong thing. This is local group policy editor for the components of the window or anything that runs on this computer. So what this basically does, you would go in and, for example, allow or disallow a component of the windows or software to run. For example, it would say allow, you know, or, you know, or deny um, whatever is trying to do. Okay. And this is not it. What we want is actually called local users and groups. So in order to get that, we can type in lusrmgr.msc in our run command and we hit OK and it's going to open up our local users and groups. Here's where we're going to apply our changes so that we can go about our business and get to fixing this computer. Now, there are roundabout ways to get this and you can get to this through the computer management as well. If you go to control panel, click administrative tools and then select computer management, you can see that Local users and groups are here as well, which is the same thing as the window that we opened previously. 
like so. So it's the exact same thing. You can see users and groups here. It's the exact same thing as what we have on this other side. So that's one way to go about it. Now, you can apply this um, IT support group by selecting groups here in this in this left hand side so make sure you select groups not users users are just local accounts groups is what we want so we're applying a group policy to this computer and let me just expand this here so it's easier to see a little bit easier to understand because i really want to highlight the part that we're going to make changes to all right so what we're going to do is add administrators group policy to it. So obviously we're going to select administrators. And you can see here, if you read it, it says administrators have complete and unrestricted access to computer slash domain. Get it. So IT support group belongs to a domain. Now we're going to add IT support to the administrators of this computer that is locally. And we're going to now do that and once we do that all the administrators all the people that belong to this IT support group will have administrator privileges on this PC at that time so the way you do that is simply select add and we're going to type in IT support and then we're going to click OK and in this case it's not doing anything because I, it's not it's just a fictional uh, you know uh, group policy so what happened is we would add it and then suddenly you would see IT support, a domain group policy applied to this and you would simply click OK and possibly reboot the computer, but it should take uh, effect immediately. At this point, the whole point of doing this is so that not only will you have administrative privileges on this computer, now you can make any changes to it you want remotely or this and that, but everybody else that belongs to that group, so all the people that work with you, now they don't have to go through this thing of getting local administrator login, the password, this and that. Now you can make all these changes and then everybody can just log in and that's the quickest way of doing, uh, doing this. Now, of course, if the local group, if the group policy hasn't been applied to this computer automatically for some reason, that there may be some other issue that you may want to look at it. However, this is a quick fix and you can just go about your business and then, you know, anything else. I mean, there might be multiple groups that need to be applied to this. It just depends on, depending on the on the system, uh, of the business setup that you have where you work at. It's just going to kind of vary, uh, you know, from business to business. Anyways, um, if you like this type of information, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments. And I appreciate your support. Thank you so much and you have a good day. Bye-bye.